Hello, my name is Amisal Martinez and today I'm going to show you some, some x-rays views of the forearm, elbow joint and the shoulder. First of all, we have to talk about a few things. We have to protect our patient, so we put him uh, this protected device. Also, we have to know that uh, the SID of this view is going to be 40 inches. Also, another tip uh, for you to know, uh, the cassette is going to be 10, uh, 14 by 17. So the first view is going to be uh, AP form. So first we start with the patient. Okay, we put the patient's uh, form in the cassette like this. Let's, let me centrally look. Okay. So what we what are we going to uh, see in here is the AP form. So what we want to know is that the central ray location is directed, uh, is directed perpendicular to the midpoint of the field. So it will be passing the central ray right about here. Now, the anatomy demonstrated in this uh, image is going to be an AP projection of the radius, uh, the ulna, the lustar uh, humerus, and the projection of the proximal row of the carpal bones. After, I'll be, but before that, we have to remember like we have to put the, the marker. We'll put it here. And uh, the collimation on this uh, view is going to include the elbow and the wrist joints. Uh, now we're going to take the stick, tell to the patient to uh, uh, don't move. Uh, and we take the picture. Click. Click. Now, the other view is going to be a lateral form. This is going to be a little, a little different. We're going to put the cassette in this position. We're going to take the patient's arm and put it like this. We're going to take our marker and put it right about here. Okay. In this uh, image, the lateral form, the center relocation is going to be directed perpendicular to the midpoint of the film space. So the center ray is going to pass right here. Okay. The anatomy that we're going to demonstrate on this image is going to be a lateral projection of the radius, the distal, uh, the distal humerus, the distal humerus, and or the proximal row of the carpal bones. Now, the other image, uh, before that, we go to the other image. We're going to uh, take the image. Uh, we ask the patient to not move and click. We take the image. Now we're going to begin with the views of the elbow. First, we're gonna first of all the cassette is gonna be a uh, 10 by 12. It is important that we know that. And the first view of this uh, is gonna be the AP elbow. We ask the patient to put the um, the elbow a little bit in front like that. So we put the marker right over here. And for this view, the central ray is gonna be directed perpendicular to the elbow joint. So the central ray is gonna be passing right about here. The anatomy demonstrated in this image is going to be an AP projection of the elbow joint and we will have the distal end of the humerus, proximal end of the radius and ulna. That is uh, the view, uh, but we ask the patient to not move uh, and we take the picture, click. The next view is going to be a medial oblique elbow. For this view, the patient is going to uh, rotate his arm like that. Let me fix the excel here, bit. like that. Okay. The central ray in this image uh, is gonna be directed perpendicular to uh, to the center of the elbow joint through the center of the film space. So this, the the central ray is gonna be passing right about here, here. So the anatomy demonstrated in this image is an internal medial oblique projection of the elbow joint, distal humerus, and proximal forearm. Radius that, that will be radius and ulna. The coronary process and of, of the ulna is gonna be well uh, demonstrated here. So for the other view, we're gonna have a lateral, lateral oblique elbow. So for this one, we ask the patient to turn his hand like that. Like that, like he's, he's asking for money. Four. So in this image, the central ray location is going to be directed to the midpoint of the elbow joint through the center of the field. So it will be like that. We take the, for this, uh, we take the image and hold the breath, don't move and click. We take the image. Okay, this view 
that we have here is gonna is the lateral elbow. As you can see, the patient has already positioned himself in the uh, in the image. We're gonna have him put the arm like that, like in the 90 degrees here, and we put important the uh, marker over here. The central ray location uh, is directed perpendicular to the midpoint of the elbow joint to the center of the film. So it should be passing right about here, the center of the, the, the center ray. The anatomy demonstrated that we have in this image is gonna be the distal humerus, the proximal forearm, and the electronic process, and the fat pads should be visualized in this screen. So, and now we're gonna ask the patient to don't move and we take the image, click. Okay, now we're gonna begin with the special views of the joint of the elbow. So the first view is gonna be the elbow joints, acute flexion position for the electron. So in this view, we uh, put the patient's elbow like that and ask him to flex and put uh, the hand in his shoulder. It's important to know that the cassette is gonna be at 10 by 12. So the center ray, the, the, the location of the center ray is gonna be directed perpendicular to the humerus approximately two inches superior to the electronic process through the center of the receptor space. So it should be right about um, here. Right about here. So the anatomy demonstrated is gonna be a form and humerus should be superimposed with no rotation. The electronic process is soft, soft tissue and distal humerus should be visualized. Now, the other view, after, before we take the view, we have to take the image. So um, we ask the patient to not move and click, we take the image. The next view is gonna okay, be- Okay, for this other view, it's gonna be an elbow acute flexion position of the ulnar sulcus. We have our patient in this position and the central ray location is gonna be directed perpendicular to the humerus approximately two inches superior to the electron process through the center of the receptive space so it should be passing right about here. The anatomy demonstrated is the forearm and humerus should be superimposed with no rotation. Electron process is a soft tissue and distal humerus should be visualized. We take the, we put a, we put our marker, we take, um, we ask the patient not to move and we take the image. The next view is gonna be uh, the holy, holy method for special examination. So this view is divided by distal humerus and proximal radius. The first thing we're gonna do is the distal humerus. We ask the patient, we'll put our cassette here. We ask the patient to rest his arm in the supporting device. We put our marker like this, okay? Perfect. The center ray, the location of the center ray is gonna be directed perpendicular to the uh, through the elbow. So the center ray should be passing right about here. The anatomy demonstrated is an AP, AP projection of the humerus and proximal radius. And the ulna into two separate expo exposure. We take, we ask the patient not to move and click. We take the image. The next view is gonna be the radius ulna we're gonna have the patient uh, resting his hand on a sponge, supporting sponge. The center ray uh, in this image is gonna be directed perpendicular to the, through the elbow. So it should be passing right about here. The anatomy demonstrated on this image is gonna be an AP projection of the distal humerus right about here and radius and the proximal radius and the ulna into separate exp exposure. We ask the patient to not move and click, we take the image. For the other one, it's gonna be the coil for radial head and, ca and capillum. For, uh, we have to know that this, for the, the cassette for this uh, image is gonna be an eight by 10. So we position the patient's arm like this. So the central ray in this image is gonna be uh, 45 degrees away from the shoulder through the elbow. So it should be passing right about here, right about here, okay? And we ask the patient to not move and we take our image, click.
Okay, now we're gonna proceed with the shoulder views. The first one is gonna be the AP Humerus. Uh, we have to know a few things before we do this image. The SID is gonna be 40 inches to the Bucky, and the cassette is 14 by 17 inches. Now, for this image, we take the hand of the, of the, of the patient and abduct the arm slightly and supinate the hand this the contact point uh, this I mean the center ray is gonna be uh, perpendicular to the image receptor so CP is gonna be uh, the mid, mid humerus and uh, in this image the collimation should include uh, the shoulder and the elbow joint we ask uh, the patient to don't move don't breathe and we take the we take the image click for this, for this one, it's gonna be the lateral humerus or shoulder internally rotated. For this uh, image, we're gonna ask the patient to put his hand like this, like a T-pose. And for this, uh, um, for this image, the center ray is gonna be uh, directed perpendicular to the image receptor. And we ask the patient to don't move, don't breathe, and we take the image, click.